Genshin Impact is trash! You take that back, you bastard! Genshin is the best game ever! There is not a single game more hated or more loved than Genshin Impact. Hi, I appreciate you. Dude, why is Paimon in the game? And as someone who played the game during its initial release at the peak of Oyoshi. And I played the game for about a year before quitting. For the next seven days, I'm gonna come back to the game, play it, see everything that's new and what there is to offer to see if Genshin Impact is really good or really bad. Starting with gameplay. The combat in the game actually isn't too difficult. Damn! Why did he shoot me first? <laughs> For the most part. But the gameplay part of combat is so enjoyable. Fusing elements, wind swirling up fire, or fire vaporizing the water and ice, and all these things make it for a fun experience, whether you're bashing in mobs or taking on tough bosses. Even now, where they're adding new characters that only give you more options of ways you can fight. So that, it does very well. The game has a lot of potential with team building, with some people even using the weakest character in the game, Amber to this day or even the MC who really isn't that good compared to the other five stars but somehow people still play them no way you're using default main character bacon burger. however another part of the game that isn't nearly as enjoyable as the combat is the story the story arguably one of the most contested points of Genshin Impact and it's not because the story is bad <laughs> no 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 it's because I can't skip it Wait a minute, the entire quest is all cutscenes? And even on only the second day of this challenge of me playing for seven days, I was already debating of whether to quit this challenge from just the straight yapping from these quests alone. All right, let's see this uh, story mission. Is this a daily quest? No, yeah, I'm done with this game. But say you're able to trudge through all of that and you're able to make it to a high enough level. Well, now you're on to the end game. And let's talk about that next. The end game or the lack thereof. Here's how Genshin works. Log in, do daily quests, spin resin for boss or artifact dungeons, and then piss off because Hoyoverse, the creator of Genshin Impact, has said that they will never add endgame content. Woohoo! I am so happy about this information. Oh, wow. Can you believe it? And that's just so, so disappointing. Okay, that's endgame content. Surely there are other things to do, Adam, right? <laughs> you stupid dumbass. <laughs> fucking. Have you learned nothing? <laughs> fucking. I, I gotta cut that. I just wanna grab your neck for asking that question. Because you're a masochist, you just like getting abused like the little fucking <laughs> If it's not the boring dialogue that's for like 30 minutes where you go here and then talk to this person, it's just those stupid mini games that only really keep you occupied for like five minutes tops. And that's not content! No, 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 no. I'm not doing this shit. And say you do want to max your character, get them to as powerful as they can be, you need a crown. But, oh, wait, I want to take a break from Genshin. I'm getting a... <laughs> Dehydrated. I have school. I have work. I have IRL responsibilities. I want to touch grass. Well, fuck you. You don't, you don't get to do that. Because the only way to get crowns is event quests. And only certain ones, not all of them. So if you miss that event, no crown for you. You're trying to have a life? You're trying to do other, you fucking loser? You're trying to have a life outside of Genshin Impact? Sit down, play the game, and give us money. That's how it works. God damn it. Okay, no end game content. The event content is very good. But what about the co-op? What about the community? How do they feel about the game? You know, when I first played this game on day one, I was really excited. I'm like, we're going to play. Me and my boys, we're going to play together. It's going to be so fun. That was four years ago. Maybe three. Co-op has not changed. That You do your dungeons. Maybe you do boss stuff. Maybe you run around in the overworld, you know, fighting baddies with your friends, even though you don't get any rewards from it. And that's it. We can't do anything. Like, we can only pick up, like, food on the ground. <laughs> okay, hey, at least they won't let us go hungry. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> But instead of swapping out with four characters doing it one at once, it was pretty fun and interesting seeing three other players running around the field and fighting bosses or enemies. That was pretty interesting and enjoyable if I do say so myself. But touching on the community aspect of that, there was one team in particular that when we ran out of resin, interesting things started to happen. Mr. Ayato, can I sit on your lap, please? 
please. Huh? <laughs> the hell you say? <laughs> Then follow me, I guess. Hold up, hold up, hold up. And a sunset view. Oh my god. I feel like I'm watching like a really bad rom com. Do, do you love me? Blush so hard. <laughs> I think your lap is also strong for me. Looks down what? with shyness. <laughs> uh, what the fuck does that even? You are so strong, so wealthy. What else am I besides strong and wealthy? Oh my god. Are you even strong or wealthy? Asterix, get down on her knees. Oh my. But despite all that, all the straight up weirdness, that's when I finally had the revelation. It all makes sense though. There's not much to do in co-op besides RP. And so that's what people did. And that's why I wanted to do this seven day challenge. Cause there's one, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm reporting this dream for underage dating. Nah, hear me out. I was actually trying to say something nice though, right? This game is, dude, can I just pretend to talk to the street vendor? Nah, uh, you can't wild. open vendors in co-op. Boba break. Thank you. I'm a little tired. <laughs> What I'm saying, though, is regardless, not people just a game to play, but ways for them to interact and socialize. And me and Sean quit the game because we found the co-op aspects to be lacking, but they found a community and they did stuff like this. However cringe we see it, and that's what made him really connect for it. So no matter how Genshin doesn't make improvements, they don't make changes, they give shit reward, they have their community here. It's respect. I have no respect for any of this. So yeah, that's me playing Genshin Impact for seven days straight. And honestly, having played the game a year straight when the game first came out and three to four years since it's released to this point the game really hasn't changed much if, if at all they've added new characters for the gacha which you could summon for them they've added new regions and new content which is pretty cool but things that longtime players have been asking for meaningful and changes like a skip button once there was a glorious kingdom established among the heavens not the genesis oh pearl from the first they, do know what that is. Air. they have a skip for the, the battle pass cutscene what? End game content and even life improvements have not been addressed simply because Hoyoverse doesn't feel the need to. If you're a company making a billion dollars a year, why would you? And I make this comparison a lot, but Internet Explorer was at the top for six to seven years. They were the really the only search browser engine. But then Google Chrome came along and Firefox. And now, who really uses Internet Explorer? Or even Microsoft Edge, as they call it. Yeah, Genshin Impact is at the top of its game now, raking in billions a year. But while I'm not hating on the game, and no, I don't want it to die, we have games like Withering Waves with a better combat system than Genshin, better traversal tools that don't take up as much stamina. Oh my god. Or Oh my god, the be Oh, talk to him, Kazo! Or Astro Knights of Veda that I'm gonna be playing with my homies on April 2nd. Apparently, this game was in development for seven years. Yeah, yeah, my okay. ass. No, it wasn't. Mm, they were okay. thinking about it for seven years, and it was in development for two months. More competitors come out soon that are challenging and doing things and listening to fans that Genshin hasn't been addressing because they don't feel the need to. So, answering the question, is Genshin a great game? I don't think so. It's not a horrible game, but I think it's become a victim of its own success and gotten incredibly comfortable. I'll see you guys on the next video, and I appreciate you watching. Deuces, boys.